Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Fluid transport in pipe, piping system design considerations part 3, selecting the right valves. In this video course, you will learn factors to be considered in valve selection, characteristics of different types of valves, typical applications, valve selection criteria with the examples. Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate us to produce knowledgeable video content for you. Subscribe now before you forget. In piping system design consideration part 2, we discuss the types of valves commonly used in chemical process industries. The fluid flow application is characterized by high temperature, low temperature, cryogenic temperatures, high pressure, low pressure, clean liquid service, slurries and so on. These items need to be given careful considerations during selection to avoid surprises during startup and commissioning. It is important that you follow the best practices while designing the piping system. A process engineer does not design these items, but his knowledge and understanding of this piping system components are important for developing good process design package. Piping system design is the last and final lap in the series of process design activities before the process engineer completes the process design package for a chemical process plant. Though the preliminary design may be done before this to get a rough estimate of the project cost, the detailed piping system design is done only after the pipe routing based on the plant layout is completed. Several valves fittings such as reducers, expanders, pipe bends, vanes, drains, strainers, steam traps, flanges, etc. are desired at this stage. There is a lot to learn and enrich your knowledge. So watch the video till the end. How does a process engineer select a valve from the above list? It depends on the function the valve is expected to do in the piping system. These functions are broadly grouped under isolation or shutoff, flow regulation or throttling, reverse flow or backflow. Illustrated in this figure is a process piping system installed for transporting liquid from vessel V101 to another column C102 by a pump. In this piping system, several different valves are shown in different color. These valves perform one of the three functions mentioned above and must be selected accordingly. We will come back to this figure later after understanding the types of valves and select the valves for this piping system. This diagram shows a timer-based temperature swing adsorption tower. But A is under absorption and bit B is under regeneration. A timer manages the adsorption regeneration cycle. Which types of valves are selected for dry changeover in this system? This figure illustrates a batch reactor. After the desired batch size is achieved, the feeds A and B to be stopped simultaneously and instantly. Which type of valves are selected for this application? Valves selection criteria. The valve selection should take into consideration the following. The intended function, service condition, types and characteristic of fluids, frequency of operation, environmental considerations, maintenance requirement. This table presents the types of valves and their applications. Included in the table 
or gate valve, ball valve and plug valve can be used for all types of chemicals, liquids and gases. They used for on off application, meet tight shut off requirements. At high pressures, these valves will have bubble type leak. In terms of pressure drop, gate and ball valve have low pressure drop, plug valve have higher pressure drop than ball valve. In terms of capacity, gate valve has higher capacity than ball valve and plug valve. The important characteristics of ball valve and plug valve are that they are suitable for quick opening and closing and they meet automatic cycle operational and emergency requirement. Expensive compared to gate valve. Operating temperatures up to 290 degrees centigrade limited by seats. In this table, typical applications and characteristics of globe valve, butterfly valve and needle valve are presented. Can be used for all types of chemicals, both liquid and gases. Typical applications include throttling and flow regulation or control. These valves have bubble type leak at shut off. In terms of pressure drop, globe valve and needle valve have higher pressure drop due to their design. Butterfly valve has lower pressure drop. Globe valve can be used for automatic control and on-off control and are expensive compared to gate valve. Butterfly valve is expensive compared to gate valve and can be automated to on-off position. Needle valve has precise flow control and can be automated. Shown in this table are the type and characteristic of check valves can be used for all types of chemicals, both liquids and gases. Check valves are least expensive of all the type of valves. By their design, they prevent backflow of liquid. In terms of pressure drop, lift check valve and swing check valve have high pressure drop due to their design. Lift check valve is used for high flow applications. Ball check valve uses gravity to function as a check valve and hence need to be installed in vertical line. Ball valves are used in diaphragm pumps and compressors in the suction and delivery piping connections. Swing check valves are most commonly used to type, widely used on pumps, compressors and flow mixing systems. There are many types of gate valves. How do you select one for a given application? The table below presents the type of gate valves and their respective applications. The most commonly used type of gate valve for general application is a wedge gate valve, usually in clean services. Knife wedge gate valve are used in slurry services and flows involving powder or solid as in paper and mining applications. Parallel gate slide valves have thermal expansion capability and hence used in steam services. Slab gate valves meet stringent testing requirement needed for applications in oil gas industries, hence used in oil well applications, natural gas plants. Diaphragm valves are used in water treatment services pharmaceutical plants and vacuum services. The diaphragm walls can be made of corrosion resistant materials such as PFA, ETFE, PVDF and glass lining. This makes them suitable for corrosive and abrasive services. But they are suitable for low temperature and low pressure applications only. Other factors to be considered in the valve selection include the following. Certain valves like ball walls and plug walls are not available beyond certain sizes. Check availability before deciding. Temperature of the fluid is an important criteria. In applications such as drying or dehydration of gases, regeneration is needed at temperatures 
at 280 degrees centigrade. The seeds of bulbs may fail at high temperatures. Fire safe design in hazardous area application where in the normal working atmosphere there is likelihood of a fire, the valve have to be fire safe. Fire safe means on exposed to fire, the valve will not leak flammable gases and liquids. Ball valves and gate valves are made of metals including the internal parts and hence will not melt when exposed to fire. They are fire safe design. Pressure drop. Pressure drop is another factor to be considered. Higher pressure drop means higher pumping and compression cost. Evaluate the alternatives on energy parameter. Purchase cost is another parameter that will influence the selection. The best way to compare is the life cycle cost, which takes into account the initial cost, maintenance cost and cost of pressure drop. Ball valves are available in different types with respect to bore size, seating and sealing. Similarly, plug valves are available in different types with respect to bore size, sleeve and lubrication. Manufacturers should be consulted with respect to service conditions, fluid characteristics, pressure drop and leakage to atmosphere that is emission. Now I want you to go back to the three figures shown earlier representing three typical industrial applications. Select yourself the valves suitable for each of these applications. That's the way to check that you have understood this topic. Have you got the selection right? If you are still not clear of the choice, let me explain to you now. The pump suction and discharge valves or gate valve because their function is isolation. Minimum flow bypass is globe valve because you have to throttle the flow. The control valve block valves or gate valves because their function is isolation. Vent valves or gate valves because they are usually on or off. The first drain valve is gate valve for isolation. The second drain valve is globe valve for flow regulation to control the rate of draining. The check valve in the pump discharge is swing type. This figure is a dehydration or a dryer unit which has a timer based automatic changeover control system. The design requirement is that the valve should be quick opening and closing for timer activated changeover. Nature of the function is cyclic and theoretically operated. The choice for this application should be valve valve. This figure illustrates a batch reactor. Here also the design requirement is that the valve should be closed automatically or manually when the batch size is completed. The design should be of quick opening, usually plug valve or preferred. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this, we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career-oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.